Wilson, a thriving city which is now a regular stop on the international and domestic cricket calendar. The latest match, a Georgie Pie Super Smash showdown between the Central Stags and Wellington Firebirds. But just a few hours out from the start of the game, there was some bad news. The Stags star signing Mahela Jaya Wardner's arrival into Nelson had been delayed and wouldn't be able to play as planned. Mahela hasn't been able to make it today just because of um, the flights were booked um, incorrectly and, and time differences weren't taken into account. So it's, it's, it's not the end of the world for us. I mean, it's important that we perform and, and uh, that's what we're going to do today. It wasn't going to dilute the contest though. The Stags fans were still eager to see a close contest. <laughs> in T20 cricket, your skills are under pressure all the time and, and a team who can remain calm and, and, and execute their skills at a, at a high level will end up being the vic victorious team. So we just want to execute well. A flat pitch was on offer and it was Firebirds captain Michael Paps who won the toss and had no hesitation in batting. As the Firebirds got stuck into the Stags bowlers, word was quickly spreading that Jaya Wardner could be making an appearance at the ground. It didn't matter much to the Firebirds, as they ranked up 175 off their 20 overs. Attention swiftly turned to the car park. The Stags' key man had arrived. Mahalo Jaya Wardner met his teammates for the first time. Stags bowling coach Jacob Oren, one player he's faced numerous times at international level. It was also a special moment for opening batsman Indika Sararathna, who got to meet his hero for the first time. Unfortunately for the Stags, they weren't able to showcase much of their batting to Jay Wardner. The home side finishing well short of the Firebirds' total. The fans were undeterred though, rushing to the boundary to meet Jay Wardner and the rest of the team. It's good to be here. I wish I was here a few hours before so I could have probably played the game. I um, missed out on it. Unfortunately, um, the boys lost as well, so um, just need to regroup and uh, get on with it. With the team needing to bounce back from a disappointing result, it's a real boost to the team to be able to add a player of J.R. Wardner's calibre. Followed the guys in the last few games. Um, they were quite close in a couple of the games that they lost as well. They had a good start to the season, the G20 comp. Um, so, um, yeah, it's unfortunate. I mean, I, I thought the Wellington boys played uh, very good cricket today. Um, I'm sure we'll learn from that and then have a good chat and then move on.